Hey guys, uh, in this next video you're about to watch, Kicks sent me two of their their buckshot chokes. Uh, these are called the buck kicker chokes. Now the ones uh, that they sent me, they sent me a four choke and an extra four choke. Now this is what they recommend. Uh, light full if you're shooting double off buck. I'm sorry, light full if you're shooting triple off buck. Full if you're shooting three and a half inch mags and double off buck. And extra full if you're shooting three inch, up to three inch double off buck, num number one and number four buckshot. So I ran these chokes through a variety of factory buckshot loads, everything from three and a half inch double off buck to two and three quarters, uh, triple off buck, and I threw in a little bit of my hand loads in there. Overall, um, I am thoroughly impressed with the quality of these chokes and how well they perform out of my Mossberg. Um, the, what makes these chokes so good is uh, they got this, uh, this conical parallel design. You can't really see it inside. Somehow all that magic, you know, <laughs> gets created into an awesome choke like this. So now in the video, you're going to hear me erroneously calling um, the extra four choke, the double X, and so on and so forth. Forget all that. My bad. I messed up. Um, I was shooting the three and a half inch and the double off buck from the four choke and everything else out of the extra four choke. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I think you guys will learn a lot because I did. So check it out. Hey guys, it's Leon again from Buck and Slug Reloaders. Uh, check us out on Facebook. Today I have a pretty massive buckshot test. Uh, the guys that kicks chokes sent me two of their buck kicker chokes to try. One is a extra full for three inch double off buck, um, triple off buck. And the other one is um, a double X for two and three quarters buckshot all the way up to three inch buckshot and every buckshot size in between um, from number fours up to double off buck. So I'm pretty excited to see how these things going to pattern. Um, the test today, I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven different uh, factory loads. If my cameraman can get a shot here. And also, I have some reloads that I'm just dying to try. So uh, we'll see how everything goes. The range I'm at right now is 50 yards. I'm using my Mossberg 835 Ultra Mag. And uh, guys, stand by and see what happens. Oh, yeah, by the way, I'm going with the heavy hitters. I'm going with the three and a half inch and a three inch buckshot first. So thank God I got this uh, <laughs> this lead sled right here because these are some heavy hitters. All right, first shot, three and a half inch Remington Magnum buckshot. See if they got an advertised velocity on here. They don't. So whew, see what happens. Oh, that's a stout low, y'all. All right, so first shot with that three and a half inch double up buck. I recovered the wad. The wad seems to be chewed up a little bit. I'm not sure if you can see that. However, look at this pattern. This is at 50 yards. That was my point of aim. Um, I could have probably moved my sights up a bit, but let's count and see how many pellets we have on the target. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. We've got all 18 on target. This is the body of a deer. That's a dead deer. So we'll go back up. I think the next shot I'm gonna shoot is two and three quarters uh, triple off buck. And we'll see what those do. Next shot, two and three quarters triple off buck. Still no, oh, we got an advertised velocity of 13, 25, eight pellets. So, let's check it out. 
air plugs in. So that shot came in a little higher at 1381. So let's go down right and check them out. Okay, so with the, the choke I have in now, that kicks choke now, look at this group. This is outstanding. This is my point of aim right here. I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All eight pellets of triple off buck on target. Once again, nice tight group at 50 yards. So far, man, I'm really, really impressed with these chokes. So next shot is one of my three and a half inch reload buckshot. This is uh, 18 pellets of nickel plated buckshot sitting on top of 38 grains of blue dot uh, with an X12X gas seal, half inch fiber wad. And um, it's also, uh, also have a, a thick bylar wrapper on the inside. So, never fired these before. Let's see what happens. I'm thinking the velocity should be somewhere around maybe upper 1100, maybe lower 1200 feet per second. This is a, it's a heavy load, 18 pellets. So, all right, here goes nothing. Even in the last sled, that one hurt. So let's go down range and check it out. Okay, guys, so that last shot came in at 1189. That was with 18 pellets of, of nickel plated double off buck. That was a heavy load, and that's pretty fast for a payload that heavy. But let's take a look at this group. So my point of aim is right here. This is what I got. Look, look at that, guys. That's, that's pretty damn good. So let's count up my shot holes. See if I can count all 18. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. 18 pellets right there. Have all 18 pellets on target at 50 yards. And um, so far so good. So far I'm really, really impressed with these chokes. Cut. Okay guys, this is gonna be the last shot of uh, my hand loads. This particular load right here is uh, it's still 18 pellets of double up buck. So these are my hard cast double up buck. So I had to reduce the powder charge a little bit on this. Instead of shooting at, or instead of using 36 grains of blue dot, I use, or I'm sorry, instead of using 38 grains of blue dot, I use 36 grains of blue dot. Um, but basically it's the same load as the last. A little buffer inside, I think 12 grains of buffer, the Mylar wrapper, and uh, same gas seal, X12X. So let's, let's see what happens. So, haven't shot my, my cast buckshot in a long time. So, fire in the hole. That shot came in, that shot came in hot at 1271. The last shot was 1189. So let's take a trip down range and see how it did. So the last shot was with my, my hard cast double off buck, 18 pellets. Still a great group. Um, let's count them and see how many pellets is out there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13. 14, 15, 16, 17. Oh, 18 up here, maybe. Ah, uh, hell, I don't know. So we got at least 17 pellets on target. Once again, if that was an animal, that's a dead animal. So right now we're gonna go back up range, switch out chokes, and we're gonna try out some of those three inch and two and three quarter inch loads.